Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to a new update by RRG Research for Monday the 20th of June and I'm recording it on Friday the 17th. My name is Julius de Campenaar and I'm presenting to you from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Wow. I was looking to uh, what I was going to discuss with you and I, I, it was hard to, to find or it was hard to choose, I have to say. It was hard to choose which charts to share with you because there is so much going on in the markets right now. So I've, I've picked out a few of which I think are big themes. And if we start with world stock markets, then we have the RRG for, that shows a number of stock market indexes. And I'm sure you're, you're familiar with that right now after a few episodes of this video and it shows you the rotation of a number of major stock market indexes around the world versus the MSCI world and if you look at this at first sight it doesn't even look that bad there's a lot of greens a lot of tails inside the leading quadrant but don't be fooled by this because this is all based on relative strength this is based on relative strength versus the MSCI world so the center of the chart here is the MSCI World Index. And what you see is that the S&P, the NASDAQ, and to a lesser degree, the Russell 2000, are in relative downtrends versus the MSCI World. And obviously, the US, the Americas, are a big chunk of the MSCI World, so of that benchmark. And almost by definition, that means that the smaller markets, which is all of those, are on the opposite side of the equation. So there has to be, because, because it's, a, it's a closed universe. So when something's going down, something else relatively needs to go up. And that's what you see happening here. Now, as I said, don't be fooled by this, but because stock markets around the world are in trouble. And you can see that when you switch the RRG to use a benchmark that is 0%, basically making it a, a price-based RRG, looking at, a, looking at a, a benchmark that never goes down, that is 0% return, then this is what you see. Now, that's a completely different picture. You can, basically, it's telling you that all stock markets around the world are in downtrends because that's what it is on the left hand side they're in downtrends and that you know fits with our our what we see in the news and on our charts if we do that same trick for the daily version of that rrg then here is the the daily versus the mci world and you see again that the here's the nasdaq the s p is the other red one and you got the russell 2000 that's already rolling over again heading towards weakening and then lagging. And you see that the other greens are moving to the top right. So they're doing relatively well, especially the Asian markets. So the Japanese Nikkei and the Hang Seng Index, but also in Europe, the, uh, the FTSE, the CAC, the uh, overall European stock market, stocks 50 and the DAX, they're, they're from a relative perspective doing much better than uh, the US indexes. All in all, that gives traders very good opportunities to benefit from pair trades so you can do you can set up trades that are market direction agnostic by squaring one against the other if we look at the uh, the daily rrg against zero percent return then i i don't think this this image needs a lot of words u.s stock markets uh sorry world stock markets are in downtrends and the daily has just returned back to the lagging quadrant and it's coming back in line with what's happening on the weekly version. From a relative perspective, I think that the main message is that the US is dragging the world down and there are now better places to hide than in the US if you really want to be in stocks or you can benefit from the spread between US markets and other indexes by setting up pair trades. We have a quick look at the chart of the S&P 500. We just broke major support and it looks as if we're on the way for a test of 3,500, maybe even 3,300. If you look at the um, Eurostoxx 50, 
then this is actually just breaking um, an important support level. But you can see that this chart, even from eyeballing the, uh, the candles, is in better shape than the S&P 500. It didn't tank as much. And you can see the relative perspective here by the RRG lines that are still pointing higher. Now, another theme that I want to highlight quickly with you is what's happening in the Forex market. And if we bring up an RRG of the G10 currencies, we're using the US dollar as the base. So for this chart, the US dollar is now the center of the chart. And what it tells you is that the US dollar is the strongest currency in the world at the moment. All the others, or at least in this universe, are to the bottom left of the US dollar. If you would use the RS ratio as a ranking mechanism, the US dollar would pop out on top. And this is a weekly RRG, so these are weekly tails, not very, very short term. And it doesn't look as if they're turning, curling back up anytime soon. Australia and Kiwi, Aussie and Kiwis are pointing lower. The, uh, the Nordic, so Swedish Corona and uh, Norwegian Corona are pointing to the lower left. The, the, the British pound, Swiss franc, they're all pointing. The, we don't even have to talk about the yen. And then we have the, uh, the euro, which went through a little bit of a hiccup and now also start moving to the left again. So general theme, general message here, overall US dollar strength. And it looks as if that's going to continue for a while more. One more chart that I want to pick out, and that's the euro dollar chart. And I brought up the monthly chart. I know it's, it's an extremely long time frame if you trade currencies, but I, I, I did that because I think we're at a very important level for Euro dollar. That's around 104. We've tested that level a few times over the last seven years. So you can see here 2015, this is 2015, this is 2017. We didn't quite reach it here in 2020, but nevertheless, nice dip. And now we're once again arriving at the 104 level. So we, what we have on our hands right now is a range between 104 and roughly a little bit above 120, 122, 124. If this level breaks, if 104 gives way, gives, gives way to the downside, I think that is a major break for, Euro, for the euro dollar rate. And it will very likely trigger even more US dollar strength and Euro weakness, because that's what it is. When this goes down, that means US dollar strength, Euro weakness. I think we're looking for Euro dollar prices below parity, below one. Time will tell, but please watch 104. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next week at a new episode of RG Research. See you next week, same time, same place.